I am not Sam. Sam wrote this, and I am to read it, but I am not Sam. Yet, Sam I am, no, I'm not Sam. Sam wrote this, I'll read it as though I am, and I am speaking Sam. The language of Sam is not simple. That's about as simple as Sam writing simple gets. This preamble is just to set up a few things in a sort of order that makes sense to Sam. A. I am not Sam. Sam and I grew up together. We are not the same. In fact, Jay might say we are not at all alike. Sam, I, would say that's so. B. This is about mountains. Jay, unlike Sam, has climbed a few. Some of those stories may be told in the course of this piece. If Jay goes slow enough, which he never does. C. The following snippets will be in the voice of Jay, though the words are Sam's. Tales told by Jay to Sam. D. Nothing so far is so, and all of it could be true.
as a birthday present, friends offered to drive Jay to a trailhead. Unbeknownst to us was that the road had been badly washed out, and as we bounced treacherously along, they said, never again. He had a plan to hike across a pass and once in an alpine lake area to meet a friend coming from the other side. They'd then hike out to his car and home after a few days of exploring. Jay arrived at a small lake with hordes of black flies, took shelter in his tent, and the next morning set out to see how the pass was, climbing without the pack. Jay knew there was a glacier at the pass, but expected it to be melted by this time of year. It was not, and he does not hike, climb in snow or ice. To make sure of this, he carries no equipment to make that possible. Stymied returned to the tent, decided to go out the other way, but had no maps, guidebooks, topos, other than for where he planned to go. Luckily, the other way was part of the PCT, and anyone met was asked when they were going back to civilization, and if before my friend was to leave, Jay gave his phone number, and having looked at their maps, said to meet him at the totally different trailhead. To get to that trailhead, Jay took the longer, but possibly more scenic, high trail, and halfway up it clouded over, and thunder could be heard in the distance. Scrambling back down, took the lower route. Altogether, he covered 20 miles that day, set up the tent, crawled into the sleeping bag, and slept surrounded by family reunions. The next morning he hitched back to town and called his friend, who had gotten the messages and was relieved that he didn't have to go on a hike. 